Hey, this is Daily LT2K. And uh, today what we're going to talk about is not Halo 3, but what we're going to talk about is how to record audio to your... Um, well, how to record from your microphone to a beat that you got, like a two-track or something like that. Um, so let's go into Fruit Loops. Okay, we are now in Fruit Loops. What I'm going to do is show you, again, how to uh, record your microphone over like a mixtape uh, beat or something like that. The first thing you want to do is go to Options. Click Add One and then uh, audio clip alright I click an audio clip and I click on this open folder here and I go there and what you want to do is browse to where you got your tracks at like where I put my new beats here at and then uh, uh, let's see I'll go to the one with the innate with the uh, the wicked game cover beat so that is, it is loading it up you see we have the file here that's now in the, uh, the wave viewer and so I'll click on the playlist and then I'll click down underneath this bar here between the top where the pattern is and the audio clips are. I click here and boom, I got my track. Now, so when I play it, it should play the beat. Now, what I'm going to do is set it up so I can record audio. And I hope this works because I'm doing screen capture at the same time. Yeah, what? One, two. Now we see that hey, I am Julio. recording Drop audio me, right here. And I didn't even tell you how I did that. Let me tell you how I did that. Let's start over again with that. Okay. I'll open up the mixer. All right. The mixer, which is uh, this one right here. And I got this window here. And what I did is I went to send one here. I like to use that one. I mean, you can use whatever one, and then here is the end options right here. Now, this is where you got to have your sound card set up right. If you don't have it set up right, then it won't work. But you have to have a sound card with audio inputs. And when your audio inputs are set up, you get these options here. Okay? Well, let's talk about that real quick because a lot of people are asking questions about that. So, let's click on options, audio settings, and now what we have here is MIDI, audio, general, file. We want to have the audio block highlighted what you see here is the sound card that you're using. I'm using a Firewire uh, sound card. Um, if you click down, you have a list of different sound cards that you can use. A primary sound driver is probably what comes with your computer. Um, and I'm going to click that and see you can click that there. But when I go to inputs, I have no inputs there. So a primary sound driver would not be the best bet to go. So if I click on like a multi thing there, you see how I changed it to multi and now I got, still don't have any inputs. But when I go to one and two, I still don't have any inputs. Well, let's try ASIO. I now have inputs. <laughs> so I think that might be one of the things there that helps you really get this to work. If you don't have an ASIO or if you don't use ASIO for all or something like that, um, you won't have any inputs like this. So now I'm going to click on my microphone input, which is the FireWire Input Analog N1. And now what you see is audio being made on there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, and once you set it up there, you see you have a disc highlighted here. And what that does, it lets you know that it's ready to record. So let's bring this window up here a little bit. All right. So now I've got my audio file here. Uh, we see sound being metered in there all right so uh, let's see what happens when I hit record now that the disk is highlighted and um, everything else is ready to go so it'll count in and I hope it records good but it might sound a little choppy because I am doing screen capture and recording audio at the same time so let's see what happens yo one two, one two, one two, one two, freestyling on the microphone. Hey, 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 tutorials on fruity loops. We busting flows. We doing our things. We making dough. We just sitting here freestyling and I'm writing these flows. I ain't got no afro, but I got a lot of dough and I am a gentleman, so I don't be pimping hoes. Yo, okay. Anyway, so now you can see <laughs> that I recorded audio now. Now this beat here can be any kind of beat that you want, an instrumental that you probably downloaded illegally or, <laughs> or some other stuff. 
but that basically summarizes that. I'll play it back for you, and now you can hear me rapping to it. Okay, now it's not going to sound perfect, but uh, that's how it works. And as far as that, that is basically how you record audio on top of a beat in Free Loops. How do you record yourself on top of a beat in Free Loops? All right. So, cool. That's how we do that. So if you can't, go to MySpace and check out my songs and support, man. Buy, buy my one song, man. 99 Cent. Come on, y'all. Show the support, man. I appreciate it. All right. Well, y'all enjoy. And, uh... You guys have a good one. Peace.